if it's a good omen or a bad omen. It says it might rain up there, so it was good to get to practice in that. I thought we had a lively practice, um, and uh, it's going to take all that. It's going to take uh, great concentration and discipline uh, to go up here and, and, and win a difficult, a difficult game against a really good football team in a, in a, in a, in a really hostile environment, which I kind of like. I, I like these environments where you go on the road and, and they got a, a crowd similar to our fan base that, that really gets excited about football. So um, um, I'm looking forward to it. And I think our players are as well. So it's, it's a big game for us. It's a Pac-12 game. Uh, we started a conference off now. And uh, it's a conference that um, I, I think is very competitive. And uh, we have to see where we stand up against one of the better teams. Obviously not in our, in our, in our conference, in, in our division, but in the North. So uh, it's going to be fun, a uh, fun game to be a part of. It, it helps you. Uh, we, we had a lot of ASU fans there, though, in San Diego. I mean, <laughs> it was almost like almost a home game uh, because the stadium is so big. Uh, but this one will be we'll, – we'll have some ASU fans, obviously. Um, but this one will be a lot of uh, purple, uh, a lot of Huskies, as they say, you know. And they, they, got a, they, got a, they have great tradition up there as well. Uh, as I said, I played there a couple of times in my college career. And uh, it's a nice venue to play in. And uh, they're a very good football team as well. So. Yeah, I think our players will, will handle that. And I think when you go on the road like that, you anticipate that. And so that's, that's going to be part of it as well. Is there anything that Washington doesn't do well? Uh, no, they're, they're, they're pretty good on, on all three phases. Um, they really are. They've got a really good offense. They have a veteran quarterback, some of ours. Uh, got a really good run, two running backs. Got some wide receivers. Uh, they're a balanced offense. Uh, they're they're going to take some vertical shots at you down the field. Uh, defensively, they're stubborn. Uh, they don't give up a lot of points. They really don't. Um, they're averaging about 10 points a game right now. So uh, they don't allow you a lot of points. It gets noisy up there. That helps your defense, especially when you get teams into bad situations. You get behind the chains. Um, they can bring pressure. They don't bring a lot at times. Um, they'll drop eight in coverage, uh, do, a, do a nice job of, of playing in the secondary. They're, they're, they're a well-orchestrated group. Um, they have a lot of experience. So this is a, this is a good test for us to, to play a team like this. <laughs> yeah, he's OK. He'll be, he'll be ready to go. He's a little sore, you know, so big guys get sore. That was a pretty physical game. So um, we, re we rested him today. But he, he should be ready to go. Did you go inside Today? Well, no, we'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow's. But it's just for the offense. The defense will stay outside. Yeah, crowd knows it'll be tomorrow. So we got the wet ball drill today a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So that helped us. But tomorrow we're actually going to go in the bubble with the offense and, and crank, up the, crank up the noise. The defense will stay outside, um, but the offense will go inside practice. Coach, never rains here. You somehow got things to, to work in your favor today. Hey, but. you know, I'm, I'm a good Catholic boy, I guess, you know. They're looking after me. God's looking after me. That's always nice. Uh, well, you know, my, that's, that's kind of, I always put a little extra in the, in, in their offering, you know, that's what we do. You know, so I learned that as a young age. You know, so that's it's okay. Appreciate that. Coach, do you expect anything different from your star players, uh, Manny, Nikhil, uh, some of the guys on the Do you expect anything more from big name players in the big game? Well, you make a great point, and and I think um, these guys have been under the spotlight now for three weeks. They, they've had national games for three weeks. This is the fourth one in a row. So I think uh, when the stage gets bigger and the brights are lighter, uh, brighter, excuse me, um, the, the players, they like that atmosphere. I mean, and, I, and it's good. And you know what? Hey, Washington's going to like it too. I mean, they're playing at home. I mean, you know, they, they had to go on the road and, 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 you know, and play a tough football team. Uh, you know, was it was at Auburn, right? They played Auburn, yeah. And, um, you know, they, players like those moments when everybody's watching them. I mean, if you're a good player, that's what you, that's what you embrace. You like that kind of stuff, you know, playing at the top ten team in the country, on the road, uh, those things. They know, they know what they're doing. They, they, they know who they're playing. Uh, Coach, last year, with the team having the experience of defeating Washington, last year versus last year, what do you think that will play in the approach Well, I, I think it helps. It was a defensive game for the most part. They did a nice job of, of shutting them down. And here again, Washington came on the road. It's hard playing on the road. I tell people that all the time. It's very difficult playing on the road. And um, the defense did a great job last year keeping the score down. And, uh, you know, they missed a couple kicks, I guess. I don't know what. I don't 
you know, really know what happened, but they were able to win. And uh, that's a sense of, 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 of confidence, but now you've got to go on the road and try to beat them up there. And, um, you know, anytime a, a good team uh, has, a, has a standard of play, uh, you can expect they're going to play like that. And that's how these guys play. That's why they're so consistent. You know, that's why they win the way they win. I mean, it's certain teams when, they, when you have a DNA and you have it built into your program, every game's big to them because when you win, you want to continue to win. I mean, so you almost put the pressure on yourself. And that's what we have to deal with. You know, we, we, we had a little winning streak and we had some momentum. Now we got to try to build it back. You know, and that's, that's the tough part. Yeah. Well, yeah, a little bit of mystery, more of a concern. Uh, and it's more of a decision making process. And we got some young guys back there. And we've kind of put two or three guys back there. But our decision making process hasn't been very well. It's gone well for us in certain situations, you know, according to what the game is. And I, and I know that we, we uh, let them know before they take the field what the situation is. But sometimes players in the moment feel like they got to make a play. And sometimes the best play to make, especially as a return guy, is catch the ball first and then know the situation. And sometimes on kickoffs, it's best that you just stay in the end zone and come out at the 25. You know, we had very bad field position in this game against San Diego State. Uh, I, I don't think we ever had a field position for most of the game that was past the 20-yard line. And so you're always playing on a long field. Uh, punt returns wise, uh, we made a few errors, you know, when to field it, when not to field it. Their punter is similar to our guy. He's a, he's a Australian guy, and he's that sign wide and kind of run to one side and kick it. And a lot of his balls are not generally the traditional turnover ball. It's more of that knuckleball. And they hit the ground sometimes. And so that's, that's difficult. So you've got to be well aware when the ball is going to hit. You've got to track the ball, make sure you catch it. Because if you don't, it takes those crazy bounces where they can create field position. Well, that's the general rule. I mean, yeah, that's always kind of been the rule. But I think some guys, they get back there and they say, well, I saw a hole. They say, yeah, but the problem is it closes real fast. You know, and if you can't, here's my opinion. They're going to give you the ball on the 25 if you fair catch, if you don't come out. Okay. Well, if you can't get it back to the 25, then we need to stay in, we need to stay in there because – if you feel the ball nine yards deep, do the math. You got to go almost 35 yards to get to the 25. That's, that's easy to say, hard to do. And so I think you got to know that when you're back there fielding it, because that makes a big difference in field position. Yeah, for a guy that, that obviously was a wide receiver, the thing that's puzzling to me again here today, um, he dropped another interception. And he was the best third down receiver in the country. And now all of a sudden he comes on defense, can't catch. I said, this sudden, I, what, what, what are you doing here, son? And so uh, I tease him. I, I give him a hard time. But um, to his credit, uh, he's worked at it. And uh, he had a big game last week. Had a lot of tackles in the box, playing a tough position. But I think, he, you know, his instincts are offensive instincts, not defensive instincts. So that's, that's a transformation for him. And, you know, he's only played in three games on, on, on defense so far. And uh, – He's done a nice job for us, and, and kudos to him. Kudos to him. That, that, that's, they give that credit to him because he's put in the work to, to get it done. Yeah. Yeah, he'll have a role. Uh, as you guys know, we play 25 defensive players, and, and there's always some packages for guys that can rush the quarterback. And uh, when you can bring pressure on the quarterback, you need guys on the edge that can rush. And, He's starting to get in shape. It, 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 you know, what players sometimes don't realize, especially young players, you actually, has, you have to actually have to practice the game of football to get in football shape. You just can't run in the bubble and think, well, I'm in shape. It doesn't happen that way because you're dealing with people that are going to try to block you. You're, you're dealing with, you know, bodies and, 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 and all those things and the anxiety of playing in the game. And so he's trying to work his way back in shape as well as J.J. I mean, you know, that three weeks he was out, he, he's out of shape. And he admitted it. Say, hey, Coach, I'm not. I said that's what I try to tell you. You know, you, you have to play yourself in shape. So hopefully those guys will continue to, to develop and, and, and gain more stamina. This will be the third straight week where you guys have played in a really physical rivalry. Uh, how, how are you keeping the team fresh? 
<laughs> it's not fresh. It's really more of our gap responsibilities. We got to we got to do a better job in our gaps as a defense. And we lost the gap integrity last week against a team that's going to run the power, and we know what they're going to run. And they did a nice job of, uh, of blocking down our interior guys and getting the ball to the second level, getting our safeties and corners to tackle. And if you look at the stats, our two number one tacklers were obviously 43 and one of our corners. That's never good. You don't want them to be your key tacklers. That means the ball is getting to the second level. And if it gets to the second level, that means they're making good yards. So we've got to try to slow that down some. Good. Uh, pressure. Uh, I don't know if I feel pressure. I, I, I live my life in a world that you compete. You know, so you just, you just, you just, you're the coach, and then you deal with it. You deal with trying to get your team in position to win a game, and you do that on the practice field, and uh, then you got to make some decisions in the game, obviously, like you always do. But I, I think you feel this. You feel for the players, that they have to know the situation of where they're at right now as a football team and what we're trying to build. And, you know, the coach, I mean, you know, when you win, everyone's happy. When you lose, you know, everyone gets criticized, and rightly so. That's the, that's the game we, we bought into playing the coach. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I've always believed this for me personally. I've never felt a lot of pressure in my life because I always prepared. And I think when you prepare, you're prepared. Now, there's going to be some unannounced things that happen you got to deal with, but I never, I never put myself in a position where if I wasn't prepared to be a part of it. You know, the preparation is what I like the most. When the game starts, that's the fun part because the preparation that you've done and the film and all the things you do to, to prepare to play a football game. So I think when you, when you feel pressure, it's like, you know, the teacher tells you, well, eh, guess what? We got a test today. And you go, ooh, ooh, really, today? Well, I was going to study tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have it today. That's pressure, right? All week we prepare. So I, you know, I don't feel a whole lot of pressure because I, I, I prepare. And when you prepare, you live with the results of what happens. And you say, hey, you know, could I have done something better, made a different decision or whatever? And, that's all coaches think that way. So that's just me in general. You know, as even as a player, um, I knew coming to work every day, my preparation was the most important thing because the game is fun. But when you're not prepared, that's when you start guessing and you make bad decisions or you, you know, and, you, and that's what I'm trying to get these guys to understand. You got to prepare more than the time you're here at 7.30 to 12. What are you doing after that? And you have all those extra hours before you come back. You can be in the building. You can continue to prepare. It's not just the four hours. It's all the extra things you do. And once your team understands that, then you become well prepared. And, and you go into games with, with energy knowing that, OK, I've seen this picture before, and I've, I've, I know what I'm going to do. So long way to answer your question, but hopefully I answered it correctly.